small, I happened to be the genius in my house because I could work a VCR. <laughs> The other day I, I said that to somebody and, and we got talking about all these stories and, and one of my colleagues, she st shared a story, she was recently on a flight, speaking of flights, and she said they were doing the safety demonstration and the last thing that was said on the announcements was the steward came on and said, okay, now please, everybody make sure that your phone is on flight safe mode. If you don't know what that is or how it works, please turn to your nearest child for assistance. <laughs> I was sitting with my friend's three-year-old son, and he said, Bonnie, I want to show you this YouTube kid video. Come here. So brings me over, finds his desired video, turns up the volume. I foolishly lean over to full screen it, and he innocently looks at me and says, uh, you didn't do that right. You haven't set it to HD yet. <laughs> my, my best friend, she, uh, her daughter, she said, oh, go call your friend. We're going to pick her up in 10 minutes. Just give her a quick call and let her know we're on our way. And so her daughter obediently runs up the stairs. My friend looked at her and said, what are you doing? The phone's right here. She's like, oh, no, no, I'm going to go Facebook her. It's much faster, Mom. <laughs> right? And I, you know, we have all these stories. And the point is that children today are born with different processing chips. They adapt. They're faster. And we're still running on these 386s, and they're on Pentium <laughs> A7s. They're, they're way ahead. They've, they've innovated and found new ways to communicate uh, I was reading something, somebody sent me a text and went, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you, I'm going to squee. And I have to be honest, who in the room knows what that means? <laughs> okay, we've got two people. <laughs> I had to look it up and I felt really old, absolutely old. Squee was actually recently added to the Oxford Dictionary in 2013 along with the word Bitcoin, so uh, uh, social detox, Internet of Things, um, and many, many other tech words that we use in our daily uh, conversation. So while I was looking up those words, I thought, well, let's, let's look up what this whole conference is about. And you've read this now that I've been talking. So innovation, right? The application of new solutions that meet new requirements, inarticulate needs, or existing market needs. So something that needs to be innovated to make life better. Collaboration, working with each other to do a task. And change. Now, following the rules of TEDx presentation, as this is my first one, I had actually a slide that had thousands of words on it. Change has so many different definitions. So I took the three that I thought were most relevant. So the process of becoming different. And sometimes when you say you need to change something, people put their backs up. They don't like that. Alteration or modification. And professionally different experience. So change happens to all of us every day. Um, and one of my favorite quotes, I was asked, if you do something the same way all the time and expect different results, that's the definition of insanity. So whether it's a small change, like changing your toothpaste, or a big change, like moving from a PC to a Mac, or vice versa, uh, we all experience change every day. Well, this got me to thinking, what has affected every single one of us? What sort of changes in, in every one of our lives? So I came up with this. Sticks. Actually, it's not sticks. It's fire. Right? The, the, the evol <laughs> That's a good picture, though. Eh? Uh, <laughs> the evolution of fire. Right? And, and, and this, out of necessity, was the first thing that humans discovered. Well, actually, the application to control fire was the first thing that we did. So through the years, we've innovated and taught each other how to make fire. And now fire is as simple as this. Right? So I'm a big gamer love games. The Atari was my first gaming console. Anybody remember that? Okay, you're dating yourselves. I gotcha. <laughs> it's my first gaming console. I remember it so well. It sat right beside the 8-track player with the Elvis <laughs> tape in there. It was great. Man. We had all the tech. Um, but, but actually, so it led me to think, well, wh where did gaming come from? And the brown box. Uh, was the grandfather of gaming and this just hooked into a normal TV and you had six games and uh, you could play them and then ten years later the Atari came out and then now we have a, I mean, a plethora of gaming systems and I admittedly in the room it, uh, I just bought my Xbox one and I'm so excited about it but I got a, a couple of uh, <clears throat> sniffs against that so one game more than the other so from a Commodore 64 Nintendo original system 
oh, jumping everywhere, one better than the next. And then I realized that actually, every time I game on my phone, it's way better than any of the systems that I used to play when I was little, and also on my computer. And computer actually was used, and it first recorded in uh, 1613. And it, was, it used to be people who sat down and actually computed information and took numbers and did that. And um, the computer evolved. So there was a man named uh, Charles Burrow. I can't remember his name, but his name was Charles. Let's just call good friend Charles. So in 1822, uh, he tried to create a computer that would, would take numbers and, and calculate them, and he ran out of funds. But he kind of had the right concept. So over 100 years later, in 1836 to 1838, a man named Conrad Seuss in his parents' living room created what we know today as the first computer. There it is. Right? And this is my first computer. Love it. Every time I look at it, I get a little bit emotional. <laughs> My 386, it was a great piece of kit. Um, and now, this is what I use for my computer. Right? We all use this as our computer. And now you're probably thinking, okay, you know, this girl, <laughs> what is fire, gaming, computers, what do all of these things have in common? Well, that's a really great question, and I actually had to pull this together. So <laughs> it all in some way affected how we live life and how we innovate and how we talk. So fires, people used to sit around those, communicate, innovate, collaborate, you know, do all of those things. So whether it's a, a social gaming, whether it's through social networking, whether it's over a great braai, did I say that right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> braai, I love that word. <laughs> We're all adapting. So we, we, we've, we've adapted, we've evolved. If you could just think for one moment, what would you do without a mobile phone? How would you tell people that you were stuck in traffic and that you were gonna be late? How would you self-diagnose that weird rash that you have on your arm? How? How would you tell everybody in the entire world that you're playing Farmville? How? But actually, in, in, in more serious, we use it for education. We use technology for education. We use, uh, we use it to pay our, our bills. We use it to turn off the heat or turn on the lights. We use it for all of those things. And we're evolving so, so quickly. But if ever you don't understand something or need clarification, please just turn to your nearest child and ask for assistance. Thank you.